Hello artists! In this lesson we will learn how to draw mittens, but mittens with fun lines on them. So first let's look, we have this mitten shape, but now let's look at the fun lines that I drew on top of it in my example here. So we're first going to start with these two blue lines. So these two blue lines are straight lines, but they have a slight curve in them, just a slight curve. So after a blue, we're gonna to hop to this orange line. This orange line is called a dashed line. If we see it goes little line, then it jumps, little orange line, then it jumps. So you wanna make sure you leave a little gap in between these little lines. And then next we have a wavy line with this purple eye over here. So it goes up, down, up, down. And then next in the yellow, this is a squiggly line. It has these little loops. So you take your, you're gonna take your pen and go loop, 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 loop. Then next in the green here, we have a zigzag line. It's like, it's almost like you're drawing a triangle, but you don't finish off the bottom. So you're gonna go with, draw a straight line and then another straight line down. You can do a little zigzag to keep repeating those up, down, up, down lines, but on a diagonal. So you want your lines to be on a slant. And next in the red here, this is called a scalloped line. It's almost like a bunch of letter U's that are connected. So U, 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 U. And then next in the blue here, this is a dotted line. So you're just going to repeat a bunch of dots in a line, straight line we on a slight curve. And next I started to repeat some of the lines we learned about up here. So I like the yellow squiggly line. I did a like a pink squiggly line. So they loop, 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 loop do doo And then next I have this kind of crazy zigzag line. It's a little bit more, it looks, it's a little bit more, more creative than doing this, the more organized uh, zigzag line. But then next, I drew some more some more lines, but these are a little different. So I drew straight lines up and down. So I drew vertical lines. Those are our lines that go up and down. But then I went and drew horizontal lines, which are lines that go left or right. So I drew some more on top of those. And then it it gave this kind of like checkerboard, like or almost like a stitched like fabric look. So those were our lines. We will we reviewed for our mittens that we will draw after we do the shape of our mittens. But first, let's look at some actual mittens. These are Miss Komosinski's favorite mittens that I wore when I was about your age. I really like the colors and the stripes on them. So let's look at the shape of the mittens though. So let's look at the shape. It's, we have one big curve. This is where your hand goes. I'm gonna put my hand just to, to show so your hand goes inside of this looped area and then your thumb is in this small little, this little loopy curve. So let's look, it's this big curve and then the thumb, there's a thumb curve on the side. So we are gonna keep these shapes in mind when drawing our own mittens. But to draw our own mittens, we're gonna use our hand to help. But instead of tracing every single finger, we are going to draw one big curve like in our mitten we friend we have here. I'll keep my little mitten. Oh, we can see this curve here. So I'm I'm drawing with I'm gonna pick a blue crayon, but you can pick your color of your choice. So with my crayon here, I'm gonna start by my wrist, right here by my wrist, and I'm going to outline, but I'm going to go around in a big curve, almost like a rainbow curve, a big curve. And then I'm gonna do a little a little curve around my thumb. So watch, I'm doing a curve ending by my wrist here. But let's see, in my example here, I have, I closed it off with a curve. You can do it like a straight line or a slight curve line like so. So there we have our first mitten. So we need a second mitten. So either you can have an adult help you trace your other hand or a friend, or we could do our best to do a mitten on the other side. But remember, we, we need to reverse it. So 
we see our little thumb is on the side. We For our other mitten, we want our thumb to be pointing inward. We want our two thumbs pointing towards each other. So let's draw, draw our other mitten. So we want that same big curve. And we want a little curve for our thumb. So I'm gonna put the mitten here that I want to kind of copy. I want, I want my, my right hand. So I'm gonna start at the base. I'm gonna draw a curve, a big curve. That's where my my hand would go. But we can't forget the little the little thumb curve. I'm gonna draw a thumb curve. Go down, close it off. And there I have my two mittens. And now's the fun part. We are gonna start drawing our lines. So I'm gonna keep with my blue crayon. I'm gonna start with my straight line. I'm gonna draw a straight line at the top of my mitten. So I'm gonna do two straight lines like so. But we need to do the same lines on our other mitten because we want it to have the same pattern. So I'm gonna draw my two lines over there. My two, so actually we have four straight lines. Now I'm gonna change my color. How about I'll go with orange like I did with my first example. So now it's time for the fun dashed line. So watch as Miss Como draws the dashed line. So first I'm gonna draw one little line, another jump, another jump, another jump. We wanna make sure we leave that little gap in between. Now let's watch again for my second mid. So we're gonna draw a little line. We're gonna jump, another line, we're gonna jump, another line, jump. See how I left that gap in between. Now I'm gonna go and draw my wavy line. I'm grabbed, I grabbed a purple, but you can grab your color of your choice. So for my wavy line, I'm gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. There's a fun wavy line. Make sure you do your seam line on your other mitten now. And go up, down, up, down, up, down. There is our wavy line. Now, wavy lines, this is a wavy lines. Friend, it's the squiggly line. This one's a little bit more tricky, so let's watch. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna loop. We're gonna curve down again, and then we're gonna loop, curve, loop, curve, loop, loop. There is our line. We wanna make sure we do our squiggly line on our other mitten too. So up, loop, 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 loop. Loop. There we go. Next we have our zigzag line. I'm grabbing green. So we want, it's like you're drawing a little triangle. So go up, down. So it's like you're drawing a triangle, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna add a base to it. I'm just gonna draw another, another little line. It's almost like an upside down V. So another little zigzag. I'm gonna zigzag on my other side. There we go. Now here's a fun one, the scalloped line. So this is like connecting a bunch of letter U's. U, 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 U. Now on the other side too. U, 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 U. And now a fun one, a dotted line. So this one's fun, you're gonna draw little dots or little circles right next to each other. All lined up in a row. Oh, I can. I'm gonna start to add my my lines to my thumb area. So I'm gonna do the same on this side. Dot, 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 dot. There we go. Now you can start repeating other lines you learned from above. So how about Miss Como is going to do another wavy line. Wavy. Up, down, up, down. It's like little hills. Then how about, I'll do like the zigzag line, but a little bit more crazy this time. Make sure you repeat on your other mitten. 
So they have the same pattern that they're matching mittens. And then how about, how about another dashed line? Those are fun. They look like stitching to me, like little, like stitchings of yarn. So now that we've reached the bottom here, you can add some details maybe. Maybe you'd like to add another straight line. Another straight line. And then maybe some more straight lines. This will be like the base of our mitten. Straight lines. Okay, friends, now that we have all of our lines on our nice little mittens you can color it in some more if you'd like or maybe you just like to leave it as so i'm going to show just color how i would how i would color maybe i'd like to in between the lines i'd maybe choose some colors staying inside the lines the best i can making sure i'm pressing hard on my paper but not too hard we don't want to break our our crayons let's respect our supplies and then I can't forget this. I mean, we want our mittens to be the same, have the same pattern, the same designs. Unless you'd like to have mix, mixed matched mittens. And then maybe I'd like to grab a yellow shade over my, my dashed line. Okay, maybe I'll skip, skip a line this time. Maybe I'll leave my squiggly, and maybe I'll go in between my my zigzag and my scalped. Maybe I'll shade, shade a stripe in here. How about one more colored in? How about, let me look at the colors I have already. I have a purple and an orange. So maybe I'll color it in with green. Do my best to stay inside my lines. Since these are some zigzag lines, I need to be careful making sure I'm staying inside the lines. Be more careful towards the little zigzags. So I'm almost done with this mitten, and then once I finish with my green here, I'm going to color the same same stripe in between, in between my lines on the other side. Okay, friends, I hope you had fun with your mitten project. In spirit of the cold weather coming soon, and in spirit of that first snow we had the other day. So have fun drawing and stay creative.